this room. I didn't know yeah. that was a cat. So this is what a lot of people call the um, Hitler's urinal and as you can see it doesn't really look like a urinal. Um, it's actually just a piece of tile that is mounted um, on kind of a plaque and at the bottom it says Hitler stood here. Uh, Cronkite was rather known as a practical jokester and the humor of saying Hitler stood here and a piece of ceramic tile being mounted to a wooden plaque is very clear and very obvious here. Again, this was um, in 1970 a gift to Cornelius Ryan for his 50th birthday party. The only thing saying that this is exactly what it is is on this letter from Cronkite so that there's a bit of skepticism behind it, and, but the provenance of it. So it's just kind of a very fun object. Uh, yeah, so basically the original exhibit that was put together in the 80s focused very particularly on uh, Cornelius Ryan because that was the stipulation through his wife, Catherine Morgan Ryan, when she donated the collection in 1981. Um, so our focus has really been to continue focusing on Ryan. Uh, for example, this is his desk and his chair, as well as his map that he used. Um, he drew all these lines. Um, these are the Normandy beaches and the troops and movements and landings um, on D-Day, June 6, 1944. In the context of the collection, this is not the main focus point in a lot of ways, but this is what people, it really, gets into their imagination and they think, oh, this is what I want to see or this is really interesting to me. But the collection contains literally thousands of questionnaires um, from people who were in D-Day, in Market Garden, um, and they wrote about their personal experiences.